This segment brought to you by SureCrop. Liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer visiting with Thad Lively. Thad is with the U.S. Meat Export Federation. Let's start, Thad, with who the Livestock Meat Federation is and what do you do? Well, the U.S. Meat Export Federation represents the export interests of the beef, pork, and lamb industry. So our focus is entirely overseas on exports. Our headquarters is in Denver, but the rest of our operations are outside the U.S. We have nine sectors in U.S. MEF. That includes everybody from producers to uh, allied industries, processors, et cetera. We've got packers, trading companies, everybody in the marketing chain for red meat comes together at U.S. MEF. And so your funding comes from all those different sources? It does, plus the USDA. USDA is an important for source of funding for US MEF, probably accounts for approximately 40% of our funding in a given year, and that has always been true. But we also are big recipients of checkoff funding, beef, pork, but corn and soybeans too. Well, that's interesting. Corn and soybeans, why would they want to spend their money on exporting meat? Well, it's a, it's a great question, and of course, they look to the livestock industry as their, their biggest customer, and the livestock industry is increasingly looking to exports is the place where they're going to find growth. Thad, uh, where is that growth happening around the world? Well, the, the big growth markets today, the top of the list, of course, would be China. China is, is the middle class grows and incomes go up. People are eating more meat, whether it's beef or pork. But we have good, solid growth continuing in places like Japan, Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, uh, even in the Western Hemisphere. We've, we're growing this year in Mexico, for example. So there are smaller markets here and there that are also good growth markets. We've got some solid performance now in some of the Central American countries, South America, uh, even Southeast Asia, Indonesia, our exports of beef to Indonesia are up fourfold over last year. So continue to be an awful lot of opportunities out in the world. China is a major importer of beef, but not from us. No, that's right. We, uh, we have been out of the China market since de December 2003 when we had our first BSE case. A lot of work has been done to try to change that and get back into the market. We had an encouraging sign earlier this fall when the Chinese government announced that it was going to drop its ban on U.S. beef. Now what's left is that China and USDA need to sit down and negotiate an agreement that will uh, set the terms under which we export to China. So we're encouraged. We, we know there's a lot of work yet to be done, but I think we're a lot closer than we were a year ago. Next time you see a beautiful field of corn, reach out and thank the farmers who work tirelessly to raise corn for livestock feed, renewable fuels, and exports to feed a growing world population. The farmers on the Kansas Corn Commission work for Kansas Corn with grower-funded checkoff dollars that support foreign and domestic market development, research, promotion, and education to expand opportunities for Kansas farmers. To learn more, visit kscorn.com.